Usually our Good Day Studio doesn't smell that great. I'll admit it. But, but today, boy, you pulled out this brisket. <laughs> and I tell you, it smells delicious in it's, here. It's the brisket flavored cologne that Biddy wears. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't know. We need a room freshener that smells just like this. Yeah. Tracy <laughs> Hutchins from Hutchins Barbecue in uh, Frisco and McKinney. Of course, McKinney, the original location, started way back in the day. Yes, sir. Yeah. My dad started the company back in 1978. So wow. just migrated to McKinney uh, in 1990. So, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're resigned to smelling like a barbecue. Uh, 100%, for the rest of your life. yeah. For the rest of my life. That's all I've ever done. So, yeah. Okay, can you explain wet aging? Wet aging is pretty much the packer, which is this right here. Okay. Uh, we do a 40 day on ours. Some people do a little less, a little more. Uh, we start with the prime brisket. Okay. Which to me sets, you know, you're talking about cooking a great barbecue brisket. Mm -hmm. Do the 40-day wet age prime. You leave it in the in the in, in the, the pack or yeah. in the in the sip. That's so you're, considered you're telling age. me I need to go to the grocery mm. store, go to the meat market, and mm. and buy that beautiful piece of meat and leave it in my refrigerator for, for a month. For 40 days, yeah, yeah. 30 to 40 right. days, yeah. We do ours 40. Okay. Uh, we will do it at 35 days, but yeah, for the most part, it just it breaks the muscle down, sets the starts setting the marbling process. So nice. Definitely, uh, that's to me that's the key. Starting with the prime, the wet age. Uh, this particular brisket was about 11 and a half pounds. Uh, it's already pre-trimmed. You can see it right here. So I did a little bit of the silver skin off the back, took out all the hard fat, left about a quarter <laughs> inch of the soft fat on there, and it's going to be fat side up. So this brisket right now weighs about eight and a half pounds. Uh, we'll finish out rendering about seven pounds. Really? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Wow. You know your stuff. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. Now, you're doing this big Texas barbecue experience. What is that? Uh, we're just going to have people coming out to the barbecue house, hanging out with our staff, our pit masters. Uh, they're going to just come out, and we're going to give them a great dinner, four of what we feel like is some of our best meats, four sides, okay. uh, and just hang out for three or four hours. We're going to have a local brewery uh, that's going to be there to oh, really? uh, yeah, a little meet and greet. We're going to do our... We feel like it's world renowned now, our Texas Twinkie. I, I heard something about okay, that. Okay, yeah, and so we're going to have that as, a, as an appetizer. Uh, <laughs> but it's just going to be a great night just of uh, drinking a few beers, mm -hmm. eating some of the best barbecue we feel like in the world. Nice. Uh, and just hanging out with the Hutchins. Okay, what am I going to do with this thing now that I've got it here? If I'm, if I'm going to try to do this on my, do I need some big elaborate, you know? We have a, a special rub, but what I always recommend, I'm going to set this right here. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we do a mustard sauce. Which is really, and you'll see it on your website, it's two thirds uh, French's mustard, mm -hmm. a third just really dill pickle juice. So we'll do a, and I'm fixing to get messy here, is that okay? Okay, yeah, bring, yeah. bring it on, go I ahead. I'll, <laughs> I'll do it like this so I can do my spice up. So we'll do this, and really what this is going to do is kind of just pretty much set the bark. We rub it all over. Oh, okay. Because you, you want a crust on the outside. Yes, we, did, want we definitely want a good heavy yeah. bark. And yeah. we have a few different ingredients in our particular rub at the restaurants, mm -hmm. but I just recommend a heavy, 8 16th grind, uh, heavy ground black pepper. And I always good like the course. Good and coarse. I like to sprinkle my black pepper on first. Really? Absolutely. That way I can kind of see my salt content. Okay. See exactly the level of salt. I want to hit all the edges really, really good. Wow. Flip this dude around. Yeah, and don't, yeah, really, it, it, to the point where you're, you're looking at it, if, if you're not a, accomplished in the, in the barbecue world, and you're looking at it going, that's way too much. No, 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 this is, this should be really, this is about the perfect amount. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, and then the right. salt goes on. And then I'll just throw some salt on there. So you can kind of, Li with the just black a pepper. A little bit of, a little, okay, well, a lot of a salt. Lot of just, salt. <laughs> not really, no, it's, it's about the right just amount. Just to let you know, if you want to, if you want to pre-mix it, uh, usually about two-thirds black okay. pepper. And about a third kosher salt. Okay, okay, so that Texas barbecue experience we were talking about is coming up tomorrow, April 19th. It'll oh, two weeks, sorry. Two weeks, I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You're right, two weeks, weeks yeah. from tomorrow. So it's April 19th, uh, starting at 6 30 p.m. at the Hutchins Barbecue in Frisco. And we've got information about tickets that you need to buy to get there. Um, and we have a link with all the details on our website, fox4news.com. All right, and then just, you know, a few loving hours later. There you go. We've got the recipe. Finished problem. There you go. Ah, oh, brisket. Thank you so much. Coming up on Good Day.